Today, uh, it's a beautiful day out, so I wanted to go out and check out this one location. It's called Iona Beach in Vancouver. I got some dirt in here. I'm working on this passion project with my girlfriend, and it's all about bipolar disorder. We've been working on it for a couple months now, and since it's not snowing like crazy, it's actually kind of nice out. Uh, we're gonna go check it out and location scout, so. Got my handy camera, A6300. I got my little notepad so I can take notes on what kind of inspires me and how I can create some visuals from her audio. Finally arrived to see what we're working with for this location. I hope that when we actually shoot on the day that it's gonna be just this nice out and it's not gonna be pouring rain because Vancouver is just rainy all the time. The sun is starting to set, maybe we got like another 30 minutes, an hour until like we get golden hour, but we're getting pretty close. I don't know if you guys can see, but this little bit is a long walkway. It's like a huge strip that goes all the way down there. You see that all the way in. Oh my goodness, look at this dude. Look at that huge camera right there. Like he's taking photos, dang. See that guest setup? Jeez, this guy's committed. Came to a good spot. What we're gonna do is Listen to the audio, basically interview kind of style of Cars BD. I got my Jabra Pros right here so I can like listen to it while walking, get some inspo on certain shots. With my notebook, I'm gonna go write down some ideas. So stay tuned, this is gonna be hopefully the main location of the shoot. Let's see what we get. Honestly, I can't even see that, the land anymore. <laughs> Definitely gonna be walking in the dark. Might even have to jog a little bit. I jogged a little bit on the way here, but we will see. Okay. Now I saw everything and I know it's here. Now I gotta race back before it gets way too dark. And we're back. So. It took me about an hour to come back to land. As I was walking, I was losing so much sunlight. When I turned around, I couldn't even see where I just came from. And looking into land, it was just so misty. I couldn't see the lights and there was an airport there. So everywhere I turned, it was just nothing. But it was really cool because I got to see ocean on one side and ocean on the other. Now, is it worth it for the actual shoot day? Because it takes so long to get there. It took me an hour just walking. For next time on the actual day, Bringing a bike would be handy and headlamps. So that's something cool to take note of. I got a little bit more ideas on the walk there than I did at the very end. And having the stretch of the walkway adds a little bit more depth for the scene. So I don't really think that I'll need the very end bit. But if I never went there, I would be thinking in my head, 
what if, what's down there. So it's pretty satisfactory that I made it all the way. But all in all, now I have a better understanding on what to shoot for that day, which eventually I'll set sometime this week. Thank you for tuning in on that location scout and that little vlog. I'll catch you guys in the next.